Hey guys, Brandon over at LS4 King. Today we're gonna to do a video about different belt combinations using different tensioners and alternator brackets. Obviously we've come out with a couple products since we originally introduced the belt tensioner. So therefore there are a couple different combinations and this video should help you identify exactly what belt you need. So let's start with a stock LS4. If you have the factory tensioner on your car, the belt you need from Gates is part number K06-1141. Uh, six rib belts are 13 16 width, and the factory belt for the LS4 is, has an outside circumference of 114 and 5 eighths of an inch. So that belt is for the factory tensioner. The belt that we include with the LS4 King tensioner, assuming that everything else in your accessory drive is factory, is Gates part number K061058. This belt also 13 16 wide because it's a regular six rib belt. It is 106 with 3 eighths of an inch outside circumference. Now, if you're running the LS4 King tensioner and the LS4 King billet alternator bracket, you need a serpentine belt that is about a half inch longer than the one that we include with our standard tensioner kit. That part number is K061073. Again, a 13 16 wide belt, 107, 7 eighths of an inch overall. When you buy the LS4 King Tensioner, it defaults to the standard belt that we include with that kit. What I've been doing is when I notice customers pair it and they purchase the tensioner and the alternator bracket, I sub out the correct belt. But we're gonna have all of these on the website as additional options as well. Now, the last thing I wanna comment on, I've had a bunch of people ask me, well, if I have your alternator bracket, but I'm not running your tensioner, I'm still on the stock one, what belt do I need? Well, historically, I've said I don't support that combination. Um, you know, with how problematic the factory tensioners are, I really don't like the idea of utilizing that in combination with my bracket. But I get it. You know, not everybody wants to go out and spring the money for the belt tensioner if their factory one is still functional at the time. So uh, we had a customer, uh, Josh from the W Body Kingdom Group. Um, he actually identified that the belt you need to run my alternator bracket with the stock tensioner is part number K061145 from Gates. And again, it follows the same uh, pattern that you see here. It's about a half inch longer than the factory belt. So this will also be in a sticky on the LS4 um, W Body Kingdom Facebook group. So if you wanna reference the information there as well, and obviously it'll be up on the website too, but wanted to make a quick video now that the product has evolved a little bit over time and there's a couple different combos. Hope this makes it uh, easy for you guys to understand. Have a great day.